In this problem, we're told a certain light truck can go around a flat curve having a radius of 150 meters with a maximum speed of 32 meters per second. With what maximum speed can it go around a curve having a radius of 75 meters? Right, so this is what we're told initially, right? So we have this truck, its velocity is 32 meters per second, right? And it's going around this curve, right? And so we know the radius of this curve is 150 meters, right? But there's gonna be another curve, right? And this one's going to have a radius of 75 meters, okay? So this one's gonna be a bit, and it's, this isn't drawn to scale by the way, but this one's 75 meters. And so the truck's gonna be going around it and we wanna find its velocity, right? We're trying to find the maximum speed or the maximum velocity it can go around this one. So what do we know about these two problems? So basically the thing you have to assume in these problems is the centripetal acceleration is the same for both, right? And that's how we're gonna be able to solve it. And the reason this is is because the friction is the same for both, meaning centripetal acceleration is gonna be the same, right? So what we wanna do is find the centripetal acceleration for this one and then plug it into this one in order to solve. So the formula we're gonna use is A sub C, or the centripetal acceleration is V squared over R, right? Because we can calculate it with V and R, right? Because this is the radius. Right, so we just plug in v squared, right, which is 32 squared, over uh, the radius, which is 150. So plugging this in, 32 squared is uh, 1,024 divided by 150, and when you do this, you'll get 6.8266. I'm just going to round it to 6.8267, and then this is going to be uh, meters per second squared, right, because it's centripetal acceleration. And so now that we know the centripetal acceleration of this, we know it's going to be the same as this, right? So since we know a sub c equals v squared over r, we know the radius of this one, we know the centripetal acceleration, what it's going to be, and we can solve for the maximum velocity. Because this is the maximum centripetal acceleration, so it's going to give us the maximum uh, velocity, right? It can go around. So what we want to do is, uh, right, and the reason this is the maximum centripetal acceleration is because this is the max velocity for this, right? So we can just plug this in, right? So what we want to do is make it solve, or solve for v. And so this is going to be v squared equals r times a c, and then V equals the square root of the radius multiplied by this centripetal acceleration. So plugging this in, we know the radius is 75 meters times the centripetal or maximum, right? Maximum centripetal acceleration, 6.8267. So what you want to do is square root uh, 75 times 6.8267. And so when you go ahead and do this, you're going to get V is equal to 22.627. Right, and so you can round this however you want. Right, so I'm just going to round it to 22.6. So it's about 22.6. Uh, right, and then the units are just going to be meters per second. Right, because this is linear. So uh, 22.6 meters per second, that's going to be uh, your answer to this problem, right? So this is the maximum speed. It can go around a curve of with radius 75 meters. So this is your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.